Lauren. 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 Lauren, wake up! Are you okay? You're fine. Lauren, you're fine. Get up. What's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Lauren, you're fine. Lauren, you're fine. Lauren, you're fine. Just back up. I'm going to need squat. Get my foot. It's all right. You okay? Come on, come on, back up, back up, back up. Come on, over here. Lauren! Come on, back up, back up, back up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Sit down. Logan, sit down. Sit right here, okay? I'll take a look at her, okay? What's her name? Lauren. Lauren? Lauren. Lauren, you okay? Hey. Lauren, you okay? Oh, my friends. Radio. Okay. Bye. It's gonna be a fatal DOA. How are you doing? Are you okay? okay. Alright, just relax. What's your name? Relax. Relax. All right, we have relax. a squat. We're gonna be coming out of the way. I want you to sit and relax. Try What's not to name? move until we get Steven, the medical you okay? attention to help you out. Okay? Don't move. So just sit okay. here and try to relax and breathe. Take a deep calm, breath. Okay? okay? How's that one doing? He's okay. He's okay. Relax. Yeah. Like okay. What's that? Okay, don't move, okay? Just relax. Right. Is right, it okay? Do I, look, do I look okay? Yeah. Okay. 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 Mike, Mike, don't try to get out. Sit down. Just relax. All right? We're not going to take you out of the car. Then we'll make sure you're okay before you get out of the car, all right? What ha can you tell me what happened? We're all the way home, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. 
you doing, baby? You okay? That's all right, all right? You're going to do the windshield. You got to be careful. You just be safe, okay? Just stay there. Don't move, all right? All right? Don't want to move at all. They're going to make sure they get you cleaned up, okay? We're almost here. Just relax. Mike, you gotta stay still for me, okay? Listen, be honest with you, right? You don't, you don't stop moving. Something's wrong in your neck. You can hurt yourself, okay? You gotta keep still for me. Yeah. He had the right of the way in the green light. He came out of nowhere and just head on. Yeah. All right, we'll take care of that, okay? We're, we're gonna make, we'll take care of that, okay? How old are, how old are you? You're 17? Okay, okay. That's okay. Don't, don't worry about insurance right now. Okay? Right. That's, that's fine. Yeah. We were going to a party. That's fine. And I think I swerved or something. And we hit the car. They're on the road right now. They're actually, they're actually walking up right now. Okay, you're not looking. You're not looking. Where, where does this come from? Walking up right, right now. Where the blood I don't come from. I have no idea. All right, look, stay still for me, though, okay? I know, I know it's hard. Try not to move at all, okay? I think we're in Try not to move at all. I'm going to go and tell the ambulance about you, okay? Relax. Don't move. Is she okay? We're going to find out as soon as the squad gets here. You know, hopefully she is. But uh, we don't know for sure right now. I'll call Shield, one stuck in the driver's seat, two in the back seat of the white car. Stand like that, put your hands down by your side. 
When I tell you to start, you're gonna pick up one foot, okay? Right or left, doesn't matter to me, okay? Okay, six inches off the ground, you're gonna stare at your toe, you're gonna to count out loud, 1,001, 1,002 for 30 seconds, okay? okay. I'm gonna show you how to do it, watch me. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 for 30 seconds, okay? If you put your foot down, just pick it up, continue where you left off with, okay? You understand that? <laughs> Go ahead and try that for me. Just like that for me, okay? Okay. When I tell you to start, you're going to take nine heel-to-toe steps on that yellow line. When you get to nine, you're going to turn in a circle, take nine heel-to-toe steps back. You're going to count them out loud. you got to watch me, though, okay? I'm going to show you how to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. When you get to nine, take your right foot, small steps around in a circle. And you're going to go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When you get to nine, small steps in that circle are going to stop. What's your name? Okay. okay. Count them out right, loud okay. for me and try it. Your hands up by your side. Go ahead. Same injury from the car. You're going to take a ride in the helicopter. We're going to take over to Metro Cleveland Hospital, okay? We're going to get a hold of your mom for you. I understand. We'll get a hold of your mom for you, okay? I know you're scared and you guys are going to stay with you and continue working on it, all right? Go ahead and start two large drive by, two large more IVs. White flight should be here in less than five. Paperwork, we're gonna get you home. How old are you? 18. You're 18? Okay. You're being placed under arrest for OVI, driving while intoxicated. We're gonna take you back, give you a life life test back at the station, and uh, we'll take you from there, okay? Okay. All right, we're gonna go back to my car. Can you give me my million All right, listen to me. This is not TV, okay? Once you're under arrest, I don't have to read your rights until I ask you questions. Do you understand that? Okay, I'm not asking you any questions, so I don't have to read your rights at this time. Life flight should be here. Life flight should be here any second. Just to update you, we got one DOA. Right. Um, no signs of life, no pulse, serious head injury. Um, um, right. She's got a head injury, we're going to move her over to the area. Great, life flight's taking her, they're stabilizing her for transport now. Right. These other three are less critical. Is there an ETA on life flight? Yeah, anything? Less than five. Right. Okay. 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 okay, I have to ask. My job, okay? We have a landing zone set up over there with our ladder truck. They're going to get you out of this car. We're gonna, we're gonna... Yep, we're going to get you out of this car. Yeah, 
Your door's stuck. You're trapped in here, all right? So once we get your friends out, we'll make our way over here to I'll cut you. Them. Okay. What hurts you right now, bro? Everything's going to be my leg at first. Okay. that they're stabilizing. Um, we'll just transport her from the backboard to their ambulance stop when they get her. Once she's packaged up and ready to go, off to the ambulance, she's going to Metro Cleveland Hospital, level one trauma. Okay. All right, Megan, these guys are going to take good care of you, okay? Okay. You want a pole? Okay, we're going to send it really fast. Yeah, that goes up. I'm left after a second to see if you cook something. Okay, Megan, what hurts you now? My head. And my chest. Did you lose consciousness at all? Just for a second. I'm going to cook something. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and package all this up. Let's just leave it back. We're going to take it over to the other side. Mike, 
my leg still hurts my face. How you doing, Michael? Okay. Get out of here. You're lagging your face, okay. Are we getting close? They're getting yeah, close. close. They're getting close. Pop the door off. Yeah. Once they pop this door off, we're going to get you on a backboard. You have a seat collar on now to keep your head from moving, all right? So try not to move side to side. All right, you're a little noisy. Logan, you okay, buddy? Just relax. Relax, okay? Relax. All right, I'll talk to you when we get back, okay? Keep, keep calm. You guys keep calm back there, okay? Keep calm. How you doing, Michael? Okay, almost there, bud. Hey, right, Logan, we're gonna head out, okay? Just relax. I'm gonna go talk to you in a minute, okay? We're gonna get out of here. Alright, Michael, we're going to get you on this backboard, okay? Slide down this angle, Scott, and take it over to Cleveland Metro Hospital, alright? Okay. Slide. Let's go all the way okay? Sure. We're going to slide this underneath you. and help them get him on the back one. Okay, Kelly, is it? Katie, okay, Katie. They're here now, all right? How you holding up? Okay, try to keep your eyes open. Keep talking with us, okay? I like flight. This is Katie, 17-year-old female. She was the front seat passenger, unrestrained, ejected through the front windshield, uh, positive LOC. Currently, she's got good movement and feeling in all extremities, uh, good pulses. She's in and out of consciousness, complaining of head pain, about six-inch lack on the right side of her head, abdominal pain. Any further? Okay. Hey, Katie, I'd like to be able to work with your little white flight. What do you remember? What's the last thing you remember? Where are you working right now? Where's that kid? Right now, everybody's here with uh, the kids. Uh, the kids are in the We got two large, uh, large four IDs for you as well. Katie, open your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Our people are free to see by that one. So, Katie, the next thing we're going to do is get you on a monitor so you can see your vital signs. We'll start giving you some medications to make you a little more comfortable. Just some stickers, okay? I'm going to take a picture of your heart. Several other patients on scene, they've been transported by ground units to Metro. One DOA behind us.
mover? Yep. All right, Katie, we're going to move you, okay? Put your arms across your chest. You don't, don't reach out, okay? You're not going to fall. Ready, Brian? Three, one, two, three. So you call the corner? Yes. Corners in row. All right, Katie, these guys are going to take it over to the helicopter, okay? All right. We'll call your parents for you. Thank you. I took her to that party, Mom. I can still remember what she said. She said, haven't you had enough? And do you really need one more? She told me I shouldn't be driving. She said, just let her take the wheel. And now that I know she's gone, I don't think I'll ever heal. I didn't listen to her mom. My brain was static. My thoughts were clouded. I told her not to panic. And that was when she shouted, just before we hit that car, just before the lights went out, I looked into her eyes. And she seemed so far. I miss her already. I miss the way she used to smile, and I miss the way she used to laugh. I'm not going to ask for forgiveness, mom because I can't forgive myself. All the things I never told her, all the things I never said, will now never leave the shelf. Now that she's dead, I deserve to die instead because I'm the one who drank. I'm the one who drove the car. I'm the one to bear the scar. I'm the one who threw the die and now I'm the one to sit and cry. I know it should have been me, mom. But now there's nothing I can do, no matter how much guilt, no matter how much shame, no matter how much I regret, no matter how much blame, it doesn't change the fact that nothing will ever be the same. And now I have to tell her mother, and I don't know how I will, I don't know how to say to her, your little girl was killed. And now I have to tell her father, and now I have to watch him cry, because I had to tell him that his daughter was the one to die. And now I have to tell myself that I can't make it right. And now I have to live with guilt because it wasn't her who drank that night. I want to thank our safety forces, fire, EMS, and police. I want to thank Kappa. I want to thank Life Flight. And as this year moves forward, I want to thank and congratulate everyone here who will make a positive and good choice. This is not staged. This scene will play out in far too many communities across this country during this prom and graduation season. The things that we believe to be rites of passage can often become tragic decisions. It happens, and because we staged this accident, doesn't mean it will not happen here. I want to ask everyone in Brecksville County High School, whether you attend these festivities or not, make sure you tell your friends your family members, your neighbors, your teammates, your classmates, that you love them and you want them to make good decisions, that you want them to have the life that we come to this high school to prepare each and every one of our students for. Please think about that. 
at this time we can return to school.